Hi Brother and Youth! Welcome back to another week of Cultivate Plus. This week, we are talking about being faithful with little and we will be focusing on how to be good stewards of the things God has blessed and entrusted us with. Stewardship takes on many forms, time, talent, faith, and of course, treasure. Today, I'll be talking about being good stewards of the treasures that God has given us. Treasure or money is what we would think about when we hear the term stewardship. Money is a very little thing. Why? Because money cannot buy happiness, money cannot give eternal life, nor any real meaning in life. Yet, there is nothing that reveals our relationship with God like our attitude towards money. And it is true that wise management of our money is an important part of Christian stewardship. You see, the Bible has much to say about money or material possessions. There are 500 verses on prayer, less than 500 verses on faith, but over 2,000 verses on the subject of money. 16 out of the 38 parables of Jesus deals with money. Money is an extremely important issue because your attitude towards it shows your relationship with God. Money is neither good or bad. It can be a great blessing or a great curse. Everything depends on the proper attitude towards money and the proper stewardship of money. So what does it mean to be a good steward or what is stewardship? Well, I would like to share four principles about biblical stewardship and I hope it will give you a clearer picture. First is the principle of ownership. In the beginning of Genesis, God creates everything and puts Adam in the garden to work it and take care of it. It is clear that man was created to work and that work is the stewardship of all the creation that God has given him. We can see that this is the fundamental principle of biblical stewardship, that God owns everything and we are simply managers acting on his behalf. Therefore, stewardship expresses our obedience regarding the administration of everything that God has placed under our control. Stewardship is the commitment of ourselves and our possessions to God's service, recognizing that we do not have the right of control over our property or ourselves. Next is the principle of responsibility. See, although God has given us all things richly to enjoy, nothing is ours. Nothing really belongs to us. Owners have rights, stewards have responsibilities. God owns everything and we are responsible for how we treat it and what we do with it. We are called God's steward to manage that which belongs to God. <laughs> While God has graciously entrusted us with the care, development and enjoyment of everything he owns, as his stewards, we are responsible to manage everything he has given well according to his desires and purposes. Next is the principle of accountability. A steward is one who manages the possessions of another. We are all stewards of the resources, abilities and opportunities that God has entrusted to us. And one day, each one of us will be called to give an account of how we have managed what he has given to us. Like the servants in the parable of the talents, we will be called to give an account of how we have administered everything we have been given, including our time, money, abilities, wisdom, and relationships. We will all give account to the rightful owner as to how well we manage the things he has entrusted to us. Lastly is the principle of reward. The Bible shows us in the parables of the kingdom that faithful stewards who do the master's will with the master's resources can be expected to be rewarded incompletely in this life but fully in the next. We all should long to hear the master say as what he did in Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. As Christians, we need to be faithful stewards to all that God has given to glorify him, serve him, serve others and further his kingdom. I think this is all that God cares about. He cares about our devotion to Him, our release of earthly treasure or money, and our focus on Him. So when it comes to money, using it and spending it wisely in a way that would honour the Lord is the best course of action to become a responsible Christian steward. And honouring God with a faithful tie is a demonstration of faith and gratefulness to God for what He has given to us. Remember, 
we come into the world with nothing and we will leave with nothing. If we view all our possessions as merely being on loan, we may begin to see ourselves more as stewards than as owners. Life is a stewardship and we are each servants of God who will be held accountable for the way we have used our stewardship. So stop thinking like an owner, start thinking like a manager and make a change in your attitude towards money today. Let's pray. Father God, we confess that we have lost the right mindset of what we are, uh, who we are in your sight, especially with the things you have given us. We pray today, Lord, you give us the right attitude of stewardship so that, Father, we will release all these treasures you have given us to bless others. We thank you and we pray all this in Christ's most precious name. Amen.